Trusting them to help him out again. Now got to take even more shots on this Mutalisks. I think with the amount of Goliaths on the field, this Mutalisks are not really going to be able to be too much of a factor. The natural expansion is a very weak place and that can actually be attacked rather easily with Mutalisks. But with the amount of turrets that Quasin has put there and the amount of Goliath he, Goliaths he has with Charon Boosters, I think he's going to be able to do a pretty good job. Still don't see a single Academy out. Um... For Hwasen, though, so he's going to be a little bit hard on scouting. Bunker actually being put down at the natural expansion to help defend. Some drones being transferred on the other side by Luxury, so he is going to get his third base up. Still some vultures running around, planting mines on ramps just to make sure there's no ground force. And Luxury actually getting very heavy amount of Mutalisk. I think at this point definitely has two control groups of Mutalisk bunched up into one. Just flying all around. Probably going to be able to do a lot of damage. <laughs> Vulture still just running around, spot it, trying to spot any ground forces. A supply depot not going to be built there because the... SCV is going to die just before it finishes up. Some Vulture is going to be engaged on the opposite side. Luxury is going to clean him up from his natural expansion. She's just Hydra Muta so far from Luxury. No Lurker tech yet, just Hydralisks. Most likely he decided not to use Lurker simply to help him defend easier against his... Um, Against his force, against these vulture forces. Vultures of Washington's actually going to go for this. Go for this drone line. Ran right past the Hydra's hat speed. Managed to kill four, maybe five drones, I believe. And got the full scout. So Luxury, bit of a loss there for him, I got to say. Hwasen doing a pretty good job. Sacrificing his vultures. Getting some pretty decent damage done. Now what Luxury needs to do is answer with his own damage. Second Colony now up at the third expansion of Luxury. is also a production hatchery at the location. So soon enough... At this point, I think Kwas is going to have a harder time getting some harassment done. Another mine taking off another Hydra is there. Still Overwatch running around slowly with Mutalus just trying to kill as many mines as they can. Still look at that gigantic mine line put down by those vultures. Still trying to run by. Still planting mines everywhere to harass forces. Another drone that gets picked off. Maybe Kwas is thinking of putting uh, down yet another expansion, but not going to be successful. Vultures just flying around everywhere. Hwasen getting the full-on scout, seeing that there's nothing at the upper left. Tanks now out, several tanks now on the field, alongside a bunch of vultures, with a lot of goliaths, and also a command center to be put down! Mines killing even more Hydrosk on the field, Luxury not being very careful. Hasn't still gotten his uh, overwatch speed, at this point I think he should get it, because he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Still, he has to be very careful how he moves out with his push, because if all of his goliaths move out of his base, he's going to find himself in a little bit of trouble with a humongous number of mutalists on the field. They are carapace upgraded, while the tanks uh, and his uh, ground forces are weapons one upgraded, so of course the goliaths going to do an especially large amount of damage against those air, f air forces, so the carapace definitely helps. But well, I'll still find the goliaths do a ridiculous amount of damage to air forces. Um, if I remember correctly, the <laughs> amount of uh, the amount of extra damage they get from that one-up upgrade against their forces is immense. So now, so Mutal is going to get caught by Goliath moving up. Another expansion can be put down by Hwasin as they take his third at the choke occasion. Mines being planted everywhere, and CVs now being run there. More turtles being placed in location. Now, mo so far, Luxury just moving out. He has a large, I think, one control group of Hydralisks. Still has a huge number of Mutalisks flying around. Still hasn't really done much with him. He really has to go for something here. Going to see if he tries to attack this engineering bay. Yeah, he's going to start harassing it a little bit. There are turrets and Goliaths in range, though. Going to push it back. Even more factories being added in by Hwasin. His fifth and sixth, I believe. Also going to add in his third gas at the 2 o'clock position. Hwasin with a dominant, I believe, lead. He's done a lot of damage so far. He's harassed pretty well. Killed a lot of forces. Overall, now Mutal is going to go and try to take out these tank numbers. Tanks are all actually in a lot of danger. Mutal is also being damaged on the way. Also, I'm going to go for the 2 o'clock base. They're pretty much free so far. Just going to be able to kill a lot of SCVs at the location. Not many Goliaths to defend it. Just Mutal is are going to have a little bit of free time. I think with a pretty decent amount of kills. Not going to go for this SCV line as well. Just a turret or two defending it. No turrets on the ridge there to defend. Mutal is just have an absolute free time. This is exactly the location, I think, on Hartford Ridge where Mutal is going to have so much... So much free space, just run around to do a lot of damage. Also, Raj Hardalist number running in on the lower forces. Now the Mule is though going to be caught, but some Goliaths and might actually be taken down. Gets split up a little bit, but a large number of them actually gets taken down. So gets caught, unfortunately, by a large number of Goliaths, but still did a pretty decent harass. Took out a quite a decent number of SCVs. This is what I feel is going to be be able to do a lot of damage. I was actually grouping all of his forces up into one clump. Also, just moving uh, downwards to the lower right at the 5 o'clock position, just spotting positions there. Might be thinking of taking some bases there. Moving even more for us, getting it taken out with some mines. Another mine gets micro to dance. Just overall micro and gets a lot of mines. Has to be very careful because he doesn't really know what he's walking into. Another mine going off, but good micro there. 
Bullock should be ready. Still has a rather large Mutalist group and finally has Overlord speed, so that's going to help him out. Vultures again moving on, just trying to delay as much as they can. Try to put down some mines, trying to catch some forces off guard. Just Also just scouting around, trying to spot how many bases where the Luxury is going to take a fourth yet or not, at which point he has not. So I think just the longer this goes out, as it goes on, Huasin's going to get an advantage. Just now getting his start, but though I find that his science vessels are going to be very late and actually going to be a drop. A lot of... A lot of the drop does get spotted. Vulture goes by. The Mutalists are going to be flying in. A bunch of the Mutalists to start off are going to be flying in. Not a lot of force. Just Goliaths are moving back. And this drop is actually going to be probably successful. Hydra is going to move in just now. The Goliaths moving in far too late. No tanks to help defending. As really should be some tanks with Siege helping to defend. Mutalists are going to start attacking a lot of the forces. Some of the Overlords getting in. But a huge drop of Hydra. It's two, maybe three. Probably three control groups of Hydra. And Siege is being pulled off the line to block. A lot of forces are going to be moving in. They're not going to find themselves very difficult to do though. Just the Luxury with a perfect drop at the perfect time. This could actually win the game from this. All oh, the command center is going to go down. Heavily damaged. The command center goes down. So now a lot of mining is going to go down. Uh, some of the is flying in the air being attacked by a lot of Goliaths. Still Hydra's down on the ground trying to kill as much production as they can. Goliaths should be able to take care of these. No, Mutalus, never mind what I just said. The Hydra's going to move in close. Going to start attacking the Goliaths. So the Goliaths can do too much damage. Draw some siege, siege tanks above, but not too many forces over already because all the forces that are going to be on the factories are going to be killed. Luxury moving in with even more enforcement down the middle with Hydra. Hydra is now taking out only four factories left on the ground. Was going to be in a lot of trouble. He has some reinforcements moving in. Some siege tank. A lot of glass. Far too late, I think. Only has three or two factories ready at this point. And Luxury with a crap load of forces moving in. Just some glass. Engages some Hydra's Hydra's. Probably these Hydra's are finally going to be cleaned out. But even more reinforcements coming in. I think Luxury... Might have just taken the game out of Wasson's hands. Wasson has some T-Tanks that he's going to start sieging up, but I think there might be a little bit of danger. Hydra's going to start moving in close, moving a little bit of location. Just, I uh, think, luxury there, getting a few Hydra's killed needlessly. Now moving in forces towards the tool clock position and just moving his forces more than one position so he can force Wasson to attack from two fronts, possibly even get another from. going to see whether he tries to go for another drop or not, just try to move more forces in this Hydra is now engaging the Goliaths and Hwasin loses some of these tanks really had to siege some of them up to have a chance against those Hydras because Hydra is overall pretty decent group now those tanks are going to siege up a different position I think at this point they're going to be able to clean those Hydras up scans going off I think those Hydras at this point is going to be a non-position but now it is going to be another drop a bunch of other overlords going to be ready at the 12 o'clock, uh, Wasson tried to put down a base, but that's going to be in a lot of jeopardy. He's probably trying to rebuild his main now, but he lost a lot of factories. A lot of production went down. Has only three factories when before he had six or seven. Also adding in a, fa a factories at his natural expansion, so he can have a quicker resupply route. Floating away one of his commanders that's actually probably going to get taken care of. There isn't this feature repair and all sectors, but now drop coming in. Hydro is going to get dropped on the supply. No lurkers, I repeat. I think, actually, no. I think there are lurkers alongside those hydras, but most Mostly Hydras, all gonna start attacking, all the supply is gonna go down, and even if, oh man, Hwasin is not gonna be able to resupply his ground force, now the Mutalus is also flying up, at this point Hwasin has probably lost the game, and you got, the guy gotta, has to feel disappointed, had the game in his hands, had an economic advantage, his macro was going, just starting to really kick in, and he was keeping Luxury off his back pretty well, but now this huge amount of forces have completely cleaned out. GG, there we go. Luxury is going to take this. He is going to take the first game. Is going to move in, move on to the winner's match, where he's going to face either high or effort. Great game by both players, but Luxury just taking a full-on risk. St he was actually spotted, but Kwasin very, very slow on his reinforcement. Of course, with Goliath being not the best option when you want to run forces around. But there you go. That lost him the game. That first that first job doing a considerable amount of damage. And the second one absolutely finishing the game. So great game by both players. But Luxury, the former MSL champion, clearly, the, clearly, clearly the winner there. So holy crap, MSL, can you believe it? Yes, I will be covering everything. GG guys, ranching out, thanks for watching, and listening, and paying attention, and not turning it off as soon as you heard who the hell was talking.